Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. Today I'm gonna do a pizza grilled cheese sandwich in my toaster oven. So let's get toasting. <laughs> when I was shopping the other day, I saw this Greer cheese. And um, I had never even heard of that before till I was watching an episode of The Kitchen Witch with Lindsay Wells a while back and she used it for something. Can't remember what it was, but uh, I'll put the link to her channel below and you guys can check her out too. She does some good stuff. But anyway, I came across that. I was kind of excited that I finally saw it and I bought it. And yesterday I made a grilled cheese with it. And it was pretty good, but I felt like it needed a little something. Some meat or something in it. So today I'm going to put some salami in there and put it on some sourdough bread. And I thought, you know what? I'll put some pizza sauce in there too and make it like a like a um, pizza grilled cheese. So this this Greer was uh, it's six forty nine a pound. So this piece was four dollars and two cents. I bought another uh, package of it since I liked it. So um, let's get started. I think I'll um, toast the salami first to kind of get it a little crispy, like it would be on pizza. I turned the oven all the way up to 450 degrees, and these are pretty thin pieces of salami, so just gonna let them stay in there until they get crispy. The only bad thing about sourdough bread is the pieces all vary in size, so maybe I'll just take a big piece right out of the center and just cut it in half. That should work. My salami's been in here for five minutes or so. Better check on it. Don't want to burn it. It's starting to smoke. Better get it out of there. All right, let's build this sandwich. Got my half a sourdough bread and I put mayonnaise on the outside. I always put mayonnaise on the outside of my grilled cheese. Whether I do it in the stove or the toaster oven, I just like the mayonnaise better. It spreads better and has more flavor in my opinion. We'll put a good bit of pizza sauce on there. And let's see here. Salami. Salami looks good. I was kind of worried that I burned it, but it looks just right. So we'll get all that on there. That's quite a bit of salami, but actually these are really thin slices. So we do that. We get our cheese on there. This cheese tastes kind of like Swiss cheese. The flavor of it, only it melts way better. Alright, now... Which way does this go? Like that, right? So put the mayonnaise on the top side of my bread there. One thing about cooking these in the toaster oven, the bread toasts from the top, so it's easier to tell when you need to turn it over. Um, might as well put a little pizza sauce on there too, right? Why not? Make sure it's nice and saucy. All right, that looks good. Let's get into the toaster oven. I set my oven to bake at 400 degrees, and as soon as the top is brown, we'll pull it out and flip it. It's been cooking for about five minutes or so, so let's check it. Looks nice and brown. I'm gonna pull it out and flip it over. I'm kinda curious if it's browned any at all on the underside. Let me flip it here and see. Not too much. We'll get it back in there and brown that top side. We'll get this back in there and let that side brown up and the cheese finish melting and we'll be back. Let's see how this is doing. Well, it's brown. Wow, look at that cheese. <laughs> Let's get that out of there. Look how good that cheese melted. That's another thing I like about doing it in the toaster oven is it's in a warm oven so the cheese melts better. Sometimes on the stove, if you have too thick of cheese, it doesn't melt very well. So let's try a bite of this baby. Sure looks good. Oh, this is so good. The cheese is so nice and melted and the salami is crisp. You get flavor from that pizza sauce. It tastes just like pizza almost. <laughs> Don't you guys wish you had one? Too bad you gotta make your own. I'm gonna eat mine. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.